I'm live. I'm live, you guys. I'm alive. Let's turn this shit off. I need to figure out my music stuff. Figure out my music stuff. Where's my... Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. I always like to do, like, one more thing. I have to figure this out. Keep it down. I no, was kidding. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a really crazy list. All right, where does it tell you your stream health nowadays? Bit rate. Excellent. Okay. I trust you. Can I, uh, do my I want this stuff to go away. I hate. I hate, like, I don't know. Everything has settings. Now. There we go. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Where is my camera? Hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. And I'm back. Whether or not you want me to be back or not, I'm here. You're just going to have to deal with it. Okay gonna have to deal with it. You're gonna have to deal with this crazy sweater I'm wearing. Okay? Are you are we good? Excellent. I am hungry. So I'm going to put these on and we're gonna get started right away. Because these ribs, I don't want them to take too long. I don't want to be eating at eight o'clock at night. I wanna be eating now. So First, I want to cut a, like a, a nice chunk off because I'm going to save some for a soup that I'm going to be making. So I'm going to do that. My trash. My trusty trash companions. Um, and uh, so we're going to cut this. And we're also going to rub it. We need to make a rub. Kind of. I mean, I have everything I want to I like move stuff on my screen. Like film up here. Our baby is very loud. But we're gonna like double bone these anyway. To double bone these gonna toss them in a seasoning that we're gonna make and I'm going to sear them in a pan. And then we're going to put them in a roasting pan and then top them with a sauce that we're gonna make. So we're gonna do a lot at once just for the main part of this dish. Follow me so far? drinking. It's dry January, unfortunately. So I'm no fun. No fun for you. Gosh, what did I want? I wanted, I have wine though. You ever do that? That, that is just happening to me right now. I'm losing it. I'm losing it, you guys. I know I want salt. That's probably too much salt. I've been assaulted. Ah! <clears throat> Alright, but I do, I really bought this poultry blend. It sounds like thyme is nice, but I really wanted the rosemary since my rosemary plant died. R.I.P. I guess I, I'll just throw it on here. I'm just gonna throw it on here. We're gonna keep the stems because we're gonna throw it in the sauce anyway. That we're gonna make. 
and we'll pull them out later. You know, you know the drill. Yeah, I suck at at this because you do this so many times when you're an apprentice, picking the leaves off of stuff that you just you just go crazy. It's gonna be me. What? Oh, the baby. Oh well. Do, 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 just faking it. Just take this, like you don't want woody pieces, but like the small, like you know, like the not so woody pieces dry. And I'm just gonna stick it in the sauce. Stick that in the sauce. I mean, it's all going in the same thing pot, so it doesn't really matter too much. That baby. She is so cute. She's seven months now. So that's always fun. Seven months. I don't know. Is it? It's always so much fun with seven months. It's fun. Because she's like kind of learning and catching thing on to things, so she's not like just a sack of potatoes anymore, which is pretty cool. Um, she's becoming a human, understanding stuff, kind of talking a little bit, but not you know actual words or anything like that. So. Doo, 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 doo. I gotta do, I keep saying this every stream, actually every time I cook, I'm like, I need to sharpen these knives. I need to sit down and sharpen these. So. A knife sharpening chat stream coming too soon. It's like riding a bicycle. I haven't like streamed in like a couple weeks, a couple, like two months again. And uh, it just was like a stressful couple months. It's like, ah, I can't do this. So it's like riding a bicycle again, like being like, oh, hey, you know. But I do need to like configure my setup and I really should start writing notes because I like forget things and then I'm like, oh yeah, I was supposed to do this last time and I don't stream very consistently. I should probably put something underneath this, but typically I would, but usually it sticks, but it's not sticking anymore. It doesn't really matter anyway because we're not going to do much detailed work on this. It's just going to be a mat to catch blood later. Catching blood. I feel like this is like very close for comfort, but what are you going to do? I think I can back it up a little bit. Ooh, I don't know what that was. Clicking on. Yeah, something something. One day I will find the perfect like camera angle for me. Then I'll look like them Instagram models. Oh my god. No, that's not going to work. It's like midstream messing with my camera. The usual stuff and awesome stuff. See, when I was testing this out, I wasn't thinking I was going to be so close. And then I'm like right where I was before. Ah, whatever. Who cares? Mmm, herbs. Herby boys. They smell fragrant. It's not like some of those bots. Probably in my chat right now. Hi, fragrant. I'm gonna put some pepper in here for sure and some paprika. It smells really like earthy. I don't know. There's something like. Mm, mm. Oh, I wanna put some garlic in there too. We'll get my garlic mincer doodad out. Um. Look at 
the colors of the herbs. I have to deal with something with these cameras. You know, something would be excellent. Oh yeah, I'm already at that stage of nervous singing in my broadcast. Nervously singing. Sorry, a little rub. Rub it up, dub. So we want to open this up. I probably shouldn't be using my nice knife for this, but oh well, I did. Now, it's all about catching blood, really. So I'm gonna open it, put it over this thing here. My roasting pan off to the side, that you can't see. It's a big rack of ribs. A lot. I don't know. I'm just gonna wash my hands about 20 times in the in the process of cutting these. But I want like a save like a good chunk for myself here. Um, say like right here. That's probably good enough for my soup. I think I'm gonna do a soup tomorrow. Like a, like a, like a pork barley with this nice big chunk here. Nice chunk. Bye bye chunk of meat. See you later. I think this is enough for three people, don't you think? It's nice and meaty. So I want to do, I mean, whew, this, I guess I probably should have saved this part for the, no, I'm going to backtrack and then go pull those other ones out of the fridge and save this for my soup because I just realized this has no bones. Oops. It's like easier to, oh yeah, just stick. You gotta kind of do it top down. And then you gotta cut like that little piece of cartilage. And then, that. let me tell you, it's easier when they're whole. So that's, I think, a good, nice size portion. Oh wow. <laughs> These are not trimmed, but that's okay. I don't want them trimmed. I want every little piece left on this. It's gonna make it so good. Now, if I was like barbecuing these, I would probably remove some of that portion, but these are, you know, these are like this here, like the silver skin and stuff. Definitely wanna like remove that. If I was doing that. bone in this. Eh, bone in. Team bone in. We'll just leave this one whole. Eh, no, I'll cut it in half. And then this will be <clears throat> good for my soup. We'll just a chunk of pork for soup. 
I also have... That's going to be a small... Small but big rib. Oh, yes. Excellent. Excellent. Soothing baby noises for your ear. Some sort of ham type substance. I'll be right back. Mom's gonna get some dinner. Hi. Sorry, baby, you screaming in the background. It's okay. Show. I kind of like this, like, just the food instead of my dumb face, but I think people like looking at my dumb face. Oh. You're supposed to be like, honey, you don't have a dumb face. Uh, well, I don't know if you're just, like, being funny for, like, content creation or if you're a little legitimately being, like, a butt about your face. <laughs> Obviously, I don't find your face ugly. Dumb idiot. I was just telling Doug too. I was like, I've been complimented with both of you out in public about how beautiful of a couple we are. Like you and me and me and him. Yeah. Remember that show? That mm -hmm. drunk lady at, at the anime convention. Yeah. That was, that was fun. Nah, but the meat. This is the most important part anyway. Well, I can't keep it on this view forever. Anyway, oh no, am I running out of seasonings? We gotta improvise. Oh, it doesn't really matter too much because it's all gonna end up in the sauce and it's all, all the seasonings gonna get in there. We get a little extra salt here. Little extra salt. Little extra salt on that piece and this piece here. Man, I totally missed that spot. And I could always reuse some of the seasoning. So in case you guys were wondering, I'm getting these ready to sear and then I'm gonna braise them. They look so gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous ribs there. Back to this mug. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not that crazy. Alright. We're gonna keep this up. Is it okay? I just wanna like kinda sear them for a little bit of flavor. And uh you know. We're gonna sear them, put them back in the in the their thing. But um regular knife out and start chopping some stuff. We got a preheated oven. You know what? It's a special knife. Do you know 
We'll go 375 on it. Even though we have to roast vegetables later. These over here. We're waiting for this to get a nice hot. hot, hot, hot. Well, I don't want it too hot because I don't want to turn on my fan. This is going to go in the sauce. So, oh no. Oh no. Like when you get garlic and they're like small. I'm like, I don't know where I put my camera today. I'm like looking over here, looking over there. No. I get my veggie knife. gonna leave it kind of holeish because I'm probably gonna I don't know we'll leave them kind of whole today we'll fine dice the onion though leaving them kind of whole I'm just gonna toss them right in the pot some olive oil So, we're just peeling some garlic. Throw it here. And we're going to do this in a second here. I have to figure out my, my setup here on how I want to do things. As far as... I would love to have like an above camera. That's kind of a pain in my butthole though. I'm so excited. I still have like tons more garlic to peel because they're all small. And this one just kind of smushed into itself. Great. A delicious breadstick. Ah, I hate it when that happens. All right, all right, that's enough garlic. I don't need more garlic. So I'm going to make a sauce and then I'm going to take the sauce and then like take the ribs out of the sauce and then add a little bit of cream to the sauce at the end and then a little bit of cream and then some mozzarella and toss it in that orchetti. Maybe I'll put some basil because I do have a basil plant so that's still good. We'll get to chopping this in a minute but first we're going to Depends, like a minute or two on each side. I have this onion. I don't know why I keep doing that. Yeah, I am made for podcasts. Because <laughs> I direct myself towards the mic instead of the, you know, camera.
smell amazing. It smells really good. I wouldn't lie to you guys. Trust me. That's not how I get, how I roll here. adding some carrots, like some finely diced carrots to my, my like a rag, kind of like a ragu, but then like, I don't know, I have like a vision, I have a vision for this. Our Sancho recipe is actually going to come out of a cookbook my boss got me, so that's going to be interesting. I'm going to do some pictures in a minute. I have no idea why this sounds so <laughs> meh today. Oh well. Could be worse. How's everybody out there doing tonight? I hope you're enjoying this show. 
and everything. Just let me know. I have my sauce. It's starting. Maybe I should do the sauce first, then the ribs, but eh, whatever. January, but we're using this wine for sauce. Not drinking it, unfortunately. making me itchy. Making me itchy. I'm itchy. I'm so itchy lately. I have no idea what it is. Well, I should go get something. I want something from like the shoulders. I do have this one. I do have this hoodie. Here we go. Ta-da. Look at that. That looks really good. They're not even close to being done yet. Not even close. Tuber root guy. Kind of tastes like a potato, but a little bit more refined. Uh, looks like ginger. Like the lady at the uh, store was like, oh, these look like, uh, they look like ginger. People keep asking me, do they taste like ginger? 
And the answer is no. They do not taste like ginger. It tastes like a potato. So she found that out. So that's pretty good. And then I'm going to use this twist chard. I'm going to wash this gorgeous twist chard I got for a dollar. So we're going to make this recipe for um, a book that I received for Christmas. Person. Ah. The recipe actually calls for chard, not for chard, uh, for um, kale, but I don't have kale. I didn't buy kale today, but it's, uh, it's a good substitute. So we have to make a brown butter vinaigrette, eventually. And that's what we're going to do, eventually. So I guess I'll put these on there the side get this brown butter vinaigrette thing going because I think the chunks would probably not be a good idea. So, um, lemon. Um, I think really yeah. No. I mean, you could try, but they're, um, not. Uh, cook the whole way. It smells so good. Okay, you got much left. I have two more. Good. We're gonna need to zest these bullets. We can zest them in the bowl, juice them, the whole nine yards. Let's go over our little chunk chunks. Gonna do this. Are you gonna eat that? You're gonna eat that in front of me? No. Spoil all your dinner. I always <laughs> pre dinner eat. I know. I want these to get real good and caramelized and like almost blackened in a way. Because flavor. Play four. Where is my sister? Oh, there it is. Sesti, sesti, sesta. Oh, this is hot. Oh, do not recommend doing that. But before we do this, we need to count out four tablespoons. I think this is, yes, this is actually four tablespoons butter and we're going to put it on low and we're going to try to brown it carefully. Very, very carefully. It's my pot. That's pot, man. I don't know. That was like really horrible. too low because we do want it to have it for today. Yeah. Eventually, I'm doing with this. I just want it off my cutting board, but it's not ready yet. It's not time. It's not time. It's not time to put it in there yet. So. Oh, and I have hair everywhere, of course. Delicious protein. Ah. I am 
I'm thinking of making it some sort of chocolatey dessert type substance that's a pot de creme kind of thingy thingy, but maybe more like a ganache, I don't know. With some orange zest. So when I zest the other orange we have in my possession. Should I use lemons? I like them. oranges is good. This is like Italian inspired like the one of those hearty dishes. You know, you get like an ascabuco or something, you know, where you're like, damn, it puts like the, the hair on your chest, the uh, fat in your butt, the butt in your fat. And I, it's gotten cold outside. Um, the rain has stopped. Um, it has stopped leaking through my ceiling. And it has also stopped... Uh, didn't actually come through the basement too much, really. A little bit. But, uh, the, um, new sewer grates they put in were great. And, uh, did not uh, fuck things up, pretty much. Yummy, 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 yummy. Yummy, 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 yum. Sorry. That is like a really weird song that I came up with when feeding the baby. I don't know. Don't, don't. Like, I, I will probably break into weird random songs. I suck at, you know, you see like, you see like most shafts, they, they can make it clean and use every inch of that damn lemon or else you're fired. But, uh, me, I'm at home. I don't give a fuck. I, I'm not, like, I love food. Don't get me wrong. But I'm also not like a penny pincher or weird. So, whatever. What? Ever. And let's go. Oh, yeah. I'll show you, but I don't want to take off heat because this is going to be very, very important. Where did Ron go? That was a weird noise. It's like, oh, it's my, it's my browning butters. Let that like reduce a little bit. A little bit. And then I got this can of sauce we're gonna put in there. I was gonna make two separate sauces and then I was like, that's too many tomatoes. So I'm just gonna make one sauce and then I'll show you what we're gonna do with the we're gonna make two sauces out of one sauce. Whatever the hell that means. Speaking to me. It's speaking to me from beyond the grave. My butter is browning. Turn it on low. Oh shit. Don't actually, don't not pour things in, in the wrong place. That's all I got to Reduce. So, so I want to 
to kind of not reduce too much though. Because if it reduces too much, yeah, I think you get what I'm saying. Oh, actually, we recycle now. We recycle now. I'll go back and redo it. <laughs> I kind of liked it silent. Like, I thought it was kind of funny that you just walked through with it. <laughs> hey, you laughing. How's my dinner? It's, it's, it's dinnering. <laughs> She's famous, Mom. She's on the, on the internet. You look great. That's the camera. You look great, look honey. Camera. She's like, no, nah, I'm good. I look at what I want. <laughs> <laughs> you have a goddamn laundry basket. There's that one right there in the other room. <sighs> Can I be like carting my dirty laundry throughout this house? Or my clean laundry? My, 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 my. Uh, unmentionables. Oh, yeah. All right. So, I'm going to move this out the way for a minute. Says our rib boys looking good already. Now we're gonna. I don't remember if I raised this pear. Did I raise this pear stuff? Yes. I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, make sure they're nice and covered in sauce. Yes. Oh yeah. Give it a nice shake. Get in there. A little area here that needs some sauce cover. Cover. Yes. Make sure the sauce is permeating in every nook and cranny. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Yes. Oh, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Oh, that's so good. All right, and it's gonna go in the oven. I'm gonna put it on the top rack. I don't want that direct heat burning that tomato sauce, so I'm gonna do that. All right, so <coughs> I'm gonna cough all of the food. We're gonna do something very dangerous right now. We're going to, uh, Ooh, how are we done? Just to give it some more airflow. I need like a quarter cup. I don't think there is a quarter cup in here. Actually, you know what I could have done that seems better? This old hack. Sometimes it works. Depends on the can. And the can opener, of course.
He got damaged in the war. Oh, look, would you look at that? It's almost perfectly a quarter cup. I can get in there. Do another, like, kitchen hack. Get out my mini spatula here. Oh, yeah. What, were you, what did he do? <laughs> Hello, Great Dusk. How are you doing? I'm refreshing chat real quick. I am making a brown um, butter vinaigrette. That noise in the back here is my butter brownie. So I have to juice these uh, these bad boys. Are they really bad boys? So. Good girl. Who knows? They're oranges. And I got um I just put my ribs in the oven. And this is gonna be for the sunchucks. Um and some char. Chard. Char is a fish. Chard is a thing. Look at these uh, uh what are they called? Cara 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 oranges? Uh, Magno oranges? I don't know. Actually, that's like a vendor near me. I do have a juicer. What am I doing? Sometimes my brain. It's just sort of like, let's find where the juicer is today, though. Not entirely sure. Aha. Which drawer is this in? What's up? She eats a pear. <laughs> like this, she chews on it. That's like, so cute. And sucks on it. Like what she did to the sides. Like. <laughs> she gets bad when you take it away from me. I don't know how this gets dust in it. Grapefruit? No, it's a, it's a, actually it's an orange. It looks a lot like a grapefruit though, doesn't it? It's a very sweet orange. And no pear for baby. We're, she's upset. Yeah, see, this will be much better. Much better. I don't know heck I was doing. I keep forgetting I have this thing because I it was like in storage for a long time. I need to find some white wine vinegar. This is not my recipe. This is from a book called Roughage by Abra Brevins. Abra Brevins. That's a tongue twister. Being that I can't pronounce anything ever anyway. Yeah. The that kind of orange. They're newish. They're very sweet. Usually they're not uh, cheap, but mm -mm. okay. What else do I need? I need um. I know I need that sherry vinegar. Okay, so 
that's not much at all I need. Sorry about that, guys. I wish I did this prior to filming. Well, you know what? We're going to use this fig vinegar I get. I have just a couple splashes. Ah, this stuff is great. It's a white balsamic vinegar, like a fig uh, base to it, or slight fig flavoring to it. It's awesome. <laughs> Now I gotta just wait for the butter to get brown. But while that's going, I guess I can get these a uh, bunch of this stuff together. I should wash out this pot though. Because I'm going to use it for my noodles. Chetty noodles. Hold on one second, I can't see. I have to close this thing so far away. What was that? My face cam is under chat. How is that possible? Why is this auto focus all of a sudden? Um, get on focus. Okay, it's back in focus. Under chat. Oh, you mean on mobile? Mobile? I suppose. I can always put it up here. How about that? Slightly better. Hmm. I put that over here, and that gonna go in there. I don't know if that's any better or not. Where is my feeler? Where is my freaking feeler? Someone's gonna get hurt. These can go in better. Thank you. <laughs> Ow. No. Get that. So I'm going to peel some sun chokes. Peeling sun chokes. Uh, does anybody know what a sunchoke is? I think they're like kind of like I think they're related to an artichoke. Am I wrong? I just know that they're tasty, and these are actually fresh. The ones I get from like Eastern Market sometimes because they've been wintered, overwintered, and I mean yeah, it's like support your smaller like farms and stuff, but usually not as. Tasty, fresh. I don't know where the heck they're getting these in from. But these seem really nice and crisp. Awesome. Just gonna peel these guys very painstakingly. Kind of a pain in my butt. But oddly enough, these are good, like, if you fry them up, like, like a french fry, and then you can put them in, like, omelets. It's actually good that way. 
We used to do that at a place I worked. We would just like fry them in our fryer, like to pour them and then like do, finish them the rest of the way on the, um, you know, flat top. I'll put them in like omelets. And then, um, yeah, it does. It looks exactly like ginger. Like the lady at the store was like, you know, someone asked me, because they put place it next to the ginger. She's like, someone asked me, you know, is this ginger? And she's like, no. It's like every time I they come in, I have to tell people they're not ginger. But she's like, what do they taste like? Because people keep asking me, like, do they taste like ginger? And the answer is no, they do not. I think they taste kind of like a potato. It's like a different type of, yeah, kind of potato. They're mild. I, or at least the ones I've had in the past have been mild, but I don't know. The only problem is they are a pain in the butt to peel, as you can see. Do I have to peel them? Probably not. You know, they have like very little skin, so I'm just going to rinse these off. So screw it. You know what? We're not going to peel these. We're going to go au natural with them. Au natural. You know, these are fairly clean. Who knows who touched these things on the way to the store. The least we could do is rinse them off. Just potato. I don't really have like a, in my opinion, I don't have much of a, oddly enough, like a much of a flavor. But this is my first time eating them with the skin, so we'll try that. They kind of have like almost like a, like a radishy consistency of a potato and you can kind of you can they're also known as what jerusalem artichokes right very crispy very sweet you can eat these raw as well i believe kind of like gama all right i gotta check that butter you don't want it burnt but you want it burnt time at this stage anyway. I'm trying to remember, did I put that, it's been like, what, 15 minutes maybe since I put the um, ribs in? Something like that. to roast so unfortunately R.I.P. my olive oil yeah Jerusalem artichoke say it's the same thing yeah Sancho it's another name for it are you roasting me in there with are you roasting me without being on screen and me beating you up? I gotta show these people what happens when you roast me. Alright, I'm gonna throw a little bit of salt on these. Salt. a little bit. It doesn't really matter. 
matter too much. They're going to get dressed anyway. Let's put on the bottom. I mean, I guess I could probably, I probably should cover this up because it's starting to get really, um, it's starting to splatter a little bit. Oh, you missed me. Thanks. I missed everyone too. It's been too long again. It's like it's like two months. Didn't mean for it to be. Oh, and I never used my whatever trash it goes. But I'm hopefully gonna be back doing things regularly. Tomorrow I'm going to do a talk show, so I'm going to try to just do weekends only at this point. We'll see. We shall see. Let's get a fancy bowl out. Like, I know there's a one out here that's a play, you know, whatever. That's what Understand. It's okay. My feet get cold, and sometimes they cramp up. I'm gonna be on the floor for a minute. Ow! You okay? No. What happened? Ow! My toe is doing that thing. It does. But it's cold. No, I just need to massage it and work it out. Did I raid McKay? Uh, no. I, didn't, I haven't done any raids. I don't even remember the last show I did what I did. I can't remember. Alright, so I have this fancy bowl. Sorry. Watch me. Move this ready and then I'm going Just warning? Why? Oh, just wondering. Oh, I don't know. I thought you were like, just warning. Am I supposed to? Worry about stuff. <sighs> Is your toe okay? Yeah, my toe's fine. It was just kind You're of like, up for uh, a second. Yeah, it's annoying. Like, oh my gosh. Here's my Swiss chart. You scared? Let's take these ribs out of here. I feel like I never have enough room. You never have enough what? Like a room. No matter like what kitchen I'm in. 
I could have like a uh, like a. Stephanie, you're in a commercial kitchen. I know. I could have like a kitchen like the size of a football field, and I'm like, I need more room. Because you like make enough food to feed like thirty thousand people. Ooh, you fell and you hit your hand. Ouch. Last year around this time is when I fell and fricked up my foot real, real bad. Fricked up. Fricked it up. Put a crack in my, my grams as well. Yeah, hands and like, well, feet, you can't really do anything about like if you break your foot because I pretty sure I broke my foot. Kind of. It wasn't like the worst break. It wasn't like my foot caught, like, you know, disappeared or something. But like hands, you gotta watch out for. You have to watch your hands because they're very important. I broke my hand once, and that was not fun. It it was awful, and I had to relearn how to write. Right, so that was fun. It has them in the same sense. Like I have a bump. Who? Where the? Huh? See. At least I didn't have to have surgery. So. It could have been worse. I've known people who've had to have pins put in and stuff. It's like not fun. to figure out a way to reset up my whole kitchen I see like some people have like teleprompters and I'm like well I mean it's just like a thing you can do to set up to your tablet and I'm like I ain't gonna buy that I don't I don't know I ain't got room I'm like I mean my kitchen's not that big like what am I gonna what am I gonna do I already got a light in here oh my god you got a concussion? Oh, that sucks. Oh, your head. Okay, gotcha. You mark your head. Cut your hand. I just can't read. Oh, you hit your head. Okay. Yeah, you said it right. I just didn't read it right. So I'm, like I said, like my shit's like far away and I have to like, <sighs> I mean, I guess I could put my phone here, then I have to plug in my phone. I could do that actually. But then I, I don't know. I just have to have everything open anyway. <laughs> nice and lady doctor explained everything. They're just like, uh, make sure... They want you to rest, but they also don't want you, like, they want you to rest, but wake up every so often if it's really bad. Did they do, like, a scan or anything, like a CT scan? Where did I put it? I had my... Might as well just do this. I don't have the app installed on my phone. I keep taking it off because I'm like, I don't use it often. And then I use it when I stream. Like, oh yeah, that's when I use it. But I don't need to put the app to you.
Excellent. This like chard wasn't really like horribly dirty, so I just kind of rinsed it. Sometimes with like leafy greens, you gotta like really get in there. But this is we're gonna wilt this anyway, so we're gonna wilt Chamberlain it. No, we're not gonna wilt Chamberlain it. That would be gross. Just stay there. Ah, but you didn't even eat all of your pear. Well, it was gnawed uh, and drooled upon. And dropped out of her slippery little fingers. Gross. Yeah, so it's just kind of like, well. Oh, well. It kind of made it very much so unappetizing. <laughs> I'm sorry, but at least it looked good, right? I thought that was one you bought, so. I don't care. Just kidding. Stop looking at, at the fridge. I'm sorry, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten in a long time. <laughs> No, oh, you can eat something in the fridge. I'm just gonna scoff at you though. You know, like honestly, if I didn't smash your food, I can understand you being like upset, but let's be honest, I'll eat this stuff and then I eat what you make. <laughs> so it's not like, uh, you know, I'm like ruining my dinner. It's like small stuff, I do all day. So my dad does this all the time. It's probably where I learned it from. Oh, it's like you learned all your bad habits from your dad. Well, my dad's got lots of bad habits. Like driving with his knee. I learned that bad habit. Evading the police. Well, he is the police, but <laughs> becoming the police to evade the police. Right. Okay. Hi, please, like baby. <laughs> Just kidding. And soon, I'll probably run that. <laughs> you get embarrassed when you're around, around them. Yeah. It's that, like, uh, that nervousness. Where it's like, oh yeah, I'm totally cool, and then it's like, oh. Guess I wasn't cool. I just don't say anything, and apparently that makes me cool. All right, this is, I think, kind of like where we want it. And I probably could go a little darker, but I'm gonna just let it sit, and it, it'll kind of still cook a little bit. Get it a little cooler, and then we're gonna. You don't want it to be too cool, and you don't want it to be too hot either. If it's too hot, then it'll spark and stuff. Ah, give us peace. Okay. Sorry. I just sneezed everywhere. I want... Should I make this dessert? I don't even know what dessert I want to make. I just kind of want to...
sucks. Because of here. Um, do I want to do like a... Baked custard says it takes four hours. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna do something quick. It's like, okay. Oh shit. I close that thing out. Yeah, like not really a mousse. More, more like a ganache. How about a ganache? Uh, it's like, I don't know. I want something fudgy. That's gonna set really quick. I think I know what I'm gonna do. All right. Okay. Here we go. Back to this. Okay. 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 Um. Some ginger, orange, chocolate chips. Ginger, orange, chocolate chips. Zester in here. Where did I put my zester? Oh, it's right next to me. Huh. I have it. Okay. More zesting. It's like a family here, like the baby, like whining in the in the distance. This is for it is her bedtime. Super simple. I want like a knob of this. Oh, I could just be peeling. Hopefully, I don't overcook that. Hasn't quite been an hour yet on those ribs. Soon. bit of ginger, not a whole lot. Oops. Aw, I could, like flung it. I don't want too much ginger. Thank you. Trying. Trying to be careful here. Dun -dun. <laughs> Get 
so good. I should make some like turmeric tea tomorrow or something. But I think, oh wait, I'm out of turmeric. Ah. Oh well, too bad. too so maybe I'll do like a dollop of like a mascarpone on top or maybe I can whip the mascarpone with some heavy whipping cream it depends on how much I have left over from that I was eyeballing it oh you can burn chocolate dead easy oh yeah for sure oh yeah Pasta. This we're gonna use that, and I think we'll do like a mascarpone whip. Oh yeah, you're done. I have a tendency of like not putting a timer on for these things and overcooking them when I'm on stream. So yeah, don't want to do that. Just gonna have to watch it. And on here is this. Well, there's that. And there's this. So we need a whisk. matter too much. This vinaigrette's probably going to need to be re done eventually. Stay. A simple vinaigrette, so. I wanted to add the salt last. on the bottom of this in there as well. That's the flavor. I 
need to refill this guy. Yeah, I probably could have gone darker. You're right. So I'm going to be over here stirring in this uh, chocolate and then eventually I'm going to add some egg yolk to it. take it off the heat. Put it over here. What? Oh. What did you say? What have I done? <laughs> I don't know. What did you do? Mm, this is really good. It's getting there. saying that. It's not almost, but it's like slowly getting there. Uh, Jack's been playing video games all day. She's 
someone swearing in front of the baby? <laughs> Yoshi's a fucking cunt. <laughs> I cannot wait for Animal Crossing. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna let it sit for just like two seconds. Two seconds. Two seconds. saying that. I'm going to say that like 12 more times. Almost there. Almost there. Uh. I feel like it's hot enough that maybe if I just. No, it's not even hot at all. This is very exciting, you guys. I am so sorry. It's supposed to be a dirty jerk. I get it. I was in her house. I didn't say that she was in her house. What? <laughs> Almost like now it's like right there. Here, I was thinking it was. I had to find like bowls in which to put these in. I think I would have to. I'm gonna have to move that. Ah, dude. Supposed to 
be in the MCU. So you're telling me that Howard the Duck isn't in the next Guardians? Or did he make his like debut yet? Still needs some. I don't know. I think it just needs to be stirred really well. I think Lord's here. Saving the whites, but you know what? I can't figure out what to do with these half the time. I, I save them and then a very morbid dream out of my head. Oh, that's always the worst when you get like a dream and it's just like it won't go away. And you're like, uh, what does it mean? So I'm going to put this back on the heat for a second. Do not bring it in my house again. Just for a second. some chunks in it I'm just look okay I just want to eat some chocolate okay that's all I really want hello apple avocado how are you I feel like I need to do okay I need to do this I need to do this for a second. I'm gonna get some fancy glasses out for um like this one. Well, maybe I'll put them in these ones too. Ooh. Like this kind of ganache type thing. Um, I, I went back to the first level, but I'm, uh, I'm about to keep it. Yeah. Okay. So it's like a 
ganache type substance. <laughs> Chopped up? Ooh. Well, I've had some weird dreams like that. That's going to be my photogenic one. sound nice at all. It does sound freaky. Uh, I mean, I've had weird dreams like that. Really weird dreams. I wouldn't, um, well, what were you watching? Were you listening to any podcasts about murder? <laughs> Even like... Sorry. Even like... In the, if it's even like earlier in the day I was like listening to something that was like... Horrifying. Or something that's like kind of been on my mind. It's kind of like... Okay. Then I will have a dream about it. Okay. No idea what that is. Do I want to know? <laughs> I'm not cool enough. with mascarpone on top. Eventually I will get to this, but... <laughs> oh! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, um... Because of, like, the dopamine and all that kind of, like, messes with you. I've been on some really interesting, like, like antipsychotics before that make you have I had like one dream that was like so real it was like, was like some, like if someone's like neck got cut open and stuff it was like crazy all right sorry I should probably add like some sort of trigger warning or something I can do the whipped topping for that. Put it on the side. Oh, sorry. Oh, don't be sorry. But this is 
is going to be so delicious. Something's going to reconnect. Oh, that's probably not. It's not me. It's my phone. Bop, bop, bop. Oh. What are you doing? Why is he being, why are you being mean to her? Sugar or into not not sugar? Yeah. What is going on? Oh, I don't know. Really? I'm trying to um. <laughs> I wish I knew. Um, I'm making a mascarpone whipped cream to go on top of the dessert, and I'm waiting for the pork to get done, which is still not quite tender yet. So. Probably like another 20 minutes or so and then um like debating on whether or not I want to put like I just put a little bit of sugar in this oh just a little bit of sugar it'll dissolve I mean you can use powdered sugar or whatever but I don't want it like hella sweetened anyway so get it in my greens. That's a good start. All right, now I'm going to whip my whipped cream, whipping cream, where's my whipping cream? My phone keeps like turning off, so that sucks. Oh, it's just see random people walking about. That's my boyfriend. He's doing laundry. For some reason, I, I I was like, I don't think you're supposed to do laundry what, with a flood warning, though. But I guess, I don't know. more stable too that there's mask phone in it so I love mask phone so much Like a 
soft peak. It's, just, it's not going to get like a stiff peak anyway, but but it's going to harden up once they put it in the refrigerator. A little bit. I kind of want it to be more like a dollop anyway. Noodles to whipped cream, I guess. It's good. It's like not too sweet. Which I enjoy. Yes. Yeah. I have no idea where to put. do like a major fridge clean out like maybe tomorrow or something oh, we're gonna do this in a minute okay well hmm. this is awkward because usually when I have like this many things to do I'm not done yet so, usually wait happens when I'm like, I don't have anything else to do, but like a ton of shit. I did a bunch of stuff and I'm still waiting. Like, what is going on? cherries in this or not? What would you do? It's like a brown butter, citrus vinaigrette, sun chokes, Swiss chard. Should I put cherries? I think, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about putting cherries. We should eat a horse. <laughs> You didn't put it down, did you? Sour dried cherries. They're not sweet dried cherries. They're sour dried cherries. So let's see. Ooh. No, they're good. That was a really bad... <laughs> so cherries, cherries it is. Cherries are gonna go in it. Oh, she's in the other room playing video games. She's here. <laughs> Hi, Haley. 
hate waiting. I hate the wig. I hate it. I hate it so much. Okay. So. Yes, there is three. Actually, four. If you count me. <laughs> and if you count the BB. I love the side view. So good. And I also burning up, so excuse me. It's hot in here. Okay. Much better. Yes. That looks so like, I don't know. Looks like my mom. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna put these in here. Might as well. I don't need to wait. It's like a good hearty. on top of the desserts, but but this looks so good. It's not done yet. You're confused. It's th it's a thruple. We're a thruple. exist. Not outside of television. I'm not ready to eat. Told myself half an hour. So we have 15 minutes. 15 minutes to kill. I guess I can get plates out and stuff. And Ready. Ready spaghetti. Ready for dinner. I'm surprised how, like, how late it is. I was thinking I'd be done at 7. Well, I'll probably be done at 7. But, uh, that's still not very late for me. 
actually. I know, like, if I stream later, I get more views, but I'm also like, I don't want to eat dinner at 10 o'clock at night. I'm East Coast, baby. Nah, I'm not East Coast. We're Midwest, but we're still Eastern Standard Time, so. <laughs> I need to figure out music on my channel. I don't know. That would be a good idea, unless you like eating with your hands. It depends. I like eating sushi with my hands. Sometimes it's just easier that way. I need to get I want this to be kind of cleared off, so I want to take some pictures, you know. I'll leave the clock go. We got a clock go over here. This, I thought was like supposed to be fake wood, but it's actually like cinnamon. But it's like kind of old, so it doesn't smell so much like cinnamon anymore. I don't know why I keep like looking at the microphone. It's like, I should put these together, but no. That would be smart. To figure something out. You're Scottish. Yeah, I think you, yeah, I think you told me that once. So, I know things are crazy over there, like they're crazy kind of here. You guys have to deal with Brexit and all sorts of crazy stuff. And then we have Trump. Trump, okay, I'm not going to say it. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Trump isn't the greatest president. He does, he's done a lot of bad things. But he's done... I'm not gonna say he's done all bad things. Okay, he's done like probably a few good things. I'm probably gonna get flag for that. He's not like completely evil. He's just kind of stupid. It's me being nice. <laughs> but uh, as uh, the impeachment thing is probably gonna go nowhere. Oh, it's pretty late. Oh, yeah. It would be, like, really late because it's all... Shoot, what is that? Is that... Isn't that, like, a six-hour time difference? So is it, like, midnight? I used to remember... I think it's five. Is it five or six? Five or six-hour difference. Or is it eight? And I'm, I'm just dyslexic. Mentally damaged. <laughs> there was a couple laws that he did put into effect that were actually nice, nice, but I can't remember them because all there's so much bad stuff that he has done. <laughs> and it's like the economy's great. It's like not really. I mean, it's great for his rich cronies and it looks good on paper, but like it's kind of the same if not getting worse, and our infrastructure is like really apparent that our infrastructure is like not good right now. So, I don't know. Yeah, so like 11, 11, 19 or whatever. Yep, close. Okay, yeah, so it is five hours different. That makes sense. Oh, you can't really hear, but you'll lurk. Okay. Thank you. Is it that my mic you can't hear, or you just can't? 
Oh, you just can't hear it. Okay, that's fine. I don't have any. I don't have any closed captioning. How do you, how would that work? Hmm. I don't think they have like that technology yet. I tried to put like closed captioning on some videos I had, but you know, the bots don't really work very well. Also, I mumble a lot. Oh, it's just loud where you are. Oh, okay. Good luck. <laughs> hey, good luck understanding me. Because, um, I do mumble a lot. I'm not going to lie. I am a mumbler. Oh, he, yeah, he's been, like, he's fudged his numbers for years. He is not, like, he's always like, I'm the richest man in America, and he's, like, not even close. I mean, he's got a lot of money in places. I mean, you know, he might be broke on paper, but who knows, like, the, the way, like, the banks work and everything, and, like, how you can get loans if you're rich like that, it's it's amazing. You're never really broke. Unless, like, he's made a lot of enemies, which he may have because he's not very smart. Then he might not be able to get, like, more loans. Alrighty. I'll pull these out. I don't think these are going to get any crisper. about them cool for just a split second. Okay, not really. These are very delicious looking. So, my, my sun chokes, my Jerusalem chokes. Uh, I th think there's actually another name for them, but I smell really good. They're, they're like, okay, so they're not exactly like a potato. They're very just aromatic. I don't know. I don't know how to describe them. It's like if you've never had them before. Like, I'd say like a, like, like a potato. Oh dear. It's gonna give this a bit of a swirl. Oh, yeah, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. I'm like the worst. There we go. Yeah. All of the colors are all like messed up, so. Okay. I'm just gonna dump the whole thing on there. Hopes that it kind of wilts these greens. It's like a potato salad. I feel like this would be refreshing. And every all the goodies always fall to the bottom. Isn't that like how it always works? I'm I'm sure there's a trick into to doing these to where it would just And I think next time I should have just used a sheet pan for right on the tip. Alright. Um Floral. I feel good. Um, it is kind of floral in a way. Wow. Oh, yeah, I'll do them. Mm -hmm. I want it to look good for pictures, so get on top, goodies. need to see everything. <laughs> I know that sounds Are you serious? It's hilarious. Wrong, but Hmm. It's very good with the Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. These are kind of warmish salad. Oh, 
This still be nice, I feel like. Use hands. I would use hands, but it's okay. My skin is very sensitive. And that is like a citrus based thing. And I'm already got rashes like all over my body. And I don't want to. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in the crystal dish because I think it would be really pretty. I'm not gonna probably use all of this. But. We have these guys. We're getting to the plating portion. <laughs> hey, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do bowls. That. I'm gonna do. I'd like to do it. Oh, maybe that dish. I need like more fancy serving trays. Hello, Mac. Uh, or Mecca 2810. Mecca. Hope you're having a good evening or. Yeah, it's pretty much evening or afternoon, wherever you may be. gonna do is eat all these mozzarellas it's my uh, challenge mozzarella challenge <laughs> no that would kill me okay first I guess I should put this bowl over here and I'm gonna grab some Northern Ireland mozzarella balls are yummy. That is true. Very. Um, I don't want to eat them all. But. Okay. Here's our pasta. Which is. It's still good. It's still good. It's good. It's still nice and warm, too.
more of a blush. We got that pork fat in there too. So this is gonna be gonna be killer, dude. I kind of feel like the dairy offsets the um for sure, like it offsets the uh, acidity. Actually, cut these in half, and then we're gonna let them melt in there. Give them a good stir. We'll probably garnish a couple on top as well. This dang, I got all this dangly shit in the way too. I don't know why you want to keep moving. Probably because I keep moving you. And then I'm gonna give this stir, and hopefully this cheese will melt. Please melt, please. I might return this to the stove just to get it more reduced to actually that might be a good idea. Oh, thicken it up. Yeah, I'm here. Mozzarella on each other. Oh, 
just keep a couple of these guys out, and then one of these can go in my mouth. forget that my that's a big dog yes she's a golden retriever poodle mix uh also known as a golden doodle yo oh i should do this one the cheese pool i see so many cheese pool videos online oh except it keeps clumping and i can't seem to get it to stop, but that's okay. I'm not worried. I'm not bothered. <laughs> okay. It's fine. Ow. Keep forgetting. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a golden doodle. It's a golden doodle. Special hybrid dog for the future. I don't know. I don't know when they started doing that stuff. It's probably not that long. the dessert online because it's going to take a while for that dessert to um, come to. But I got served dinner here, so I'm about to finish this. The 
this is not it, though. This is not everything. We got the ribs yet. <laughs> Boobies, yay! No, not when they're burnt. For the little Labradoodle. Cockerpoo, crossbreeds. Yeah, it's like it's kind of like a Labradoodle, but it's a golden, uh, or it's a golden retriever instead of a Lab. Yes. Oof. That looks good. That looks gorgeous. Take a picture on the cutting board. The lighting is actually very nice around here today. I have like excellent lighting. It was like this though. <laughs> Giving me a shadow. Well, and myself a little bit. Sammy! No, actually I'm um I'm at home. I just flipped my camera around. Thank you. Cheese balls. I have my salad over here too, but here's the piece that I never, that, whatever. My resist balls or whatever you want to say. my ribs. Yes, here they are. Oh, they find, you know. I took them out of the sauce, the sauce I made into a pasta. No, that not good. Oh yeah, yeah, when they burn, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I tricked you. <laughs> I'm so grateful that we didn't have a power outage. They kept, they kept saying on the news, like, oh, everybody's going to have power outages tonight. It's going to be so bad with this rain. And, like, we had the rain coming through our roof and stuff. Show me the ribs. Oh, yes. I hope they're, like, they felt tender. I'm going to let them rest a little bit. I want them like too tender. Oh yeah, they're they're coming off the bone. That's like not the best place to show you. There we go. Ooh yes, yes. I try a piece for everybody else. Oh yes. Mhm. Mm oh, that spice on it is so good. It is so good. I'm not really like a fan of tomatoey stuff. But it is really good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now I gotta serve this to everybody. Well, I gotta take pictures. I gotta take more pictures. They are fall off the bone. But not too fall off the bone where it's like, you know. They're like just right to where it's like you can hold them. Or like you're not like... It's not falling off everywhere. But, and I have a little bit of rib meat. I'm thinking I'm going to make uh, soup tomorrow. Yeah, barley soup. It's supposed to get real cold for the next couple days and then go get real hot again. Okay. All right. Okay, everybody. I'm about to bounce because I got to do, I have to serve this meal. I want to thank everyone for coming. Oh, yeah. I want to thank everybody for coming. Let's see who we can. Hmm. No, where am I? Uh... Oh, I never did that, did I? Dre, you did it. Thank you, Sammy. It's always a pleasure seeing you around. Alright, I'll see ya. I'll see ya, Mac. I hope everyone had fun. I can't figure this out anymore. They changed the stream thing and it's like, uh, it's a nightmare. Oh, it's like, read a channel. I don't like rating, I just wanna. I know. I, well, I, I haven't been streaming lately, so that's probably. <laughs> part of it <laughs> like I have not been um, doing a whole lot because I've been so busy clam chowder from the Boston cooking something let's see who let's go to the bottom of the list 
Jamaican cooking. All right, let's go. I'm gonna host um, Rex McInnes. How do I do this? Bye, chick. Thank you for coming through. Oh, I don't have that. <laughs> I wish I did have that as an option, bye, chick. But I don't. Oh. All right. Thank you, guys. Uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow. I'm going to be doing like a little talk show kind of thing. And we'll see how it works out. And it's going to be later at night. So fun. All right. Thank you for watching again. I'm going to say that like about 20 times. Um, and uh, enjoy your night. Thank you. I'm definitely going to make that an option now. Nope. I didn't do it right. Slash host.